I really hate it when someone checks the stuff I have on my phone, especially when people just go through my private chats on WhatsApp. Everyone has a right to privacy, but sometimes people don't respect that. It's not like I have anything to hide on WhatsApp, but I definitely don't want anyone to be seeing my private chats. Nobody likes that and I'm sure not even you. Now before you think this is just another simple video telling you how to archive your chats, well there's much more to hiding chats on WhatsApp. So stick around and I promise this will be well worth your time. But before moving ahead, please do me a favor and hit the notification bell icon to subscribe and get notified whenever we put up more videos. We are working on some really cool videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on those. With this out of the way, let's get started. First, let's look at the simplest method to hide chats on WhatsApp. Open WhatsApp and select a chat by long pressing on it that you'd want to hide. Now click the archive chat option that's present on the top right and it's done. Well, by doing this you're just archiving your chats. This is one way to hide chats on WhatsApp. And if you wish to unhide any of your chats then simply follow these steps. Scroll down to the bottom of your chat list and select archive. Now long press on a chat to select and hit unarchive chat. Simple as that. Similarly, if you're using an iPhone, just right swipe on a chat, hit archive and your chat will be hidden. And to unhide, make your way to the top of your chat list and pull down to reveal the archived chats list. Now right swipe on the chat you'd want to unhide and select unarchive. Now one thing to note here is that if you've archived a chat and that person randomly messages you at any time of the day, then the chat will reappear in the chat list and won't remain hidden anymore. But there's a way to combat this as well, let's do one better. So if you're using an iPhone then you should know that WhatsApp supports Touch ID and Face ID. To enable it, open WhatsApp and head over to Settings. Select Account, then Privacy, then Screen Lock and you can then choose either Touch ID or Face ID depending on the iPhone model you have. And this is the best way to hide your WhatsApp chats on iPhone. Without access to your biometrics, no one can read your chats. I'm sure you're wondering how to do this on Android. Here's the answer. Biometric authentication via fingerprint or face unlock for WhatsApp on Android has not been rolled out to the public. Not even the beta versions have it yet. Also, there's no timeline revealed as well as to when the feature is going to be rolled out. But don't worry, I'll show you two ways to protect your chats if you're an Android user. First, go to the Google Play Store and download App Locker. The link will be added in the description down below. Set up the app by following the prompts. Once it is set up, you can choose what all apps you want to lock. Let's select WhatsApp. Now whenever you open WhatsApp, it will ask you for your PIN, pattern or fingerprint authentication. This was the first. Now for the second way, say you don't want to lock the entire app but you just want to add biometric authentication for particular chats. In this case, follow these steps. Open Google Play Store and download Locker. The link will be added in the description down below. Set up the app by following the prompts. Once done, open the Locker app. From the home page, click on the plus icon that you see on the bottom right of the screen. Now, one by one select the chats that you want to lock. Similarly, to unlock a chat, tap the select button on the top right of the screen, choose the chats and hit remove. So now, whenever you open a chat that you locked using the locker app, you'll need to use your fingerprint to unhide the chat. So, no more worrying as the chats that matter the most to you can be hidden or locked. You can set it the way you want. Point is by following these steps, nobody can invade on your privacy anymore. So that's all for this one. We hope you found this helpful and if you did then please share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also let us know what all other videos you guys would want us to make. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.